what is going on boys and girls of youtube doing another play-by-play -play. we are recording some bungle some jungling i saw a bunch of well a couple erlong shen requests and then in my stream it was requested a lot so we're gonna do erlong shen actually worked out because of the team comp kind of or you'll see why in a second uh make sure you're liking the video subscribe to the channel uh, drop a comment for what else you want me to play for the next play-by-play -play. that's what i'm going off of i'm trying to scroll through real quick and grab some and then play those for you all and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it i hope you guys like these videos i've gotten really good feedback on them so i'm gonna continue them as much as possible that simple that easy let's get in the match like i said i'm playing erlang shen and we oh right here on the, the keyboard uh we had a fafnir already locked in so as i was looking through the list of of requests and things for me to play i saw it i was like okay My like we are we are definitely playing we're definitely playing erlang shen this game so we're gonna jump into it we're gonna play the bear long ben <clears throat> and let me see so starter items for burlong ben Bur 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 <laughs> i gotta stop saying that burlong shen you're pretty much looking at eye of the jungle when you're jungling it's either eye of the jungle or bumbas now i will say on erlong shen they're talking about my 667 GG. um i personally do not like bumbas dagger unless you're going a tankier build because you're initiating for your team I have a fat Fenrir and a Fafnir. I don't want to engage in this match. I want to do damage. I could go I and then Mannequins got a slight buff a while ago. I really, really enjoy Mannequin for the pressure. They also have a Freya, someone who killing before they can get up, she can get up in the air is really, really massive. So that's what we're going to play around. I am going to go the starter items. I'm going to go blink. Uh, plan here is attack speed boots first into a stone cutting that'll make me tanky enough and i'll be able to trade really heavy with the uh the mannequin scepter physical protections the 30 you'll get from having a stone cutting at that point in the game and you'll just play off of that from there on out i'm gonna go all heavy heavy attack speed i want to go a carry build the idea of this match is to carry the scrubby lumpkins so we're gonna carry some scrubby lump i also just realized my key lights are not on so I got to go and turn those on while we run to this next camp. Auto run, bingo, bingo. Let me click down here, turn on the Elgato key lights. Boom. Lighting a little, little bit better. So my solo laner started at blue, which is perfectly fine. It's actually better for me because I can get the lane and control which mid camps I want to get. And a lot of time I can get both. You can see they're all level one right now. Because they're all level one, I'm full committing to these mid camps. Because that means essentially if the other solo didn't start blue, i get both mids here i control the whole game oh they're running freya mid wow wow so they have no pressure it is against a uh bitch boy mcgee here i don't want to get tossed in the tower and i didn't take my two because i thought i was just gonna farm i thought we were going <laughs> against a different team confidence what it is he hasn't kicked yet you notice i'm just playing back because he hasn't kicked yet we're gonna end up fighting here i think i'm gonna try to clear there we go go oh. Oh, he didn't take his two. We're chilling. So this guy doesn't have his kick. He has his one and his two. I'm going to look for an engagement here. Going to heal up a little bit. I want him to start poking, telling him to attack. That's really good. Oh, switch to the Freya. She should die here. Yep, Freya's free kill. I need mana. If I get enough mana, I can maybe get the kill on this guy. Got a root. Is that one health? You up down. I wish my Vulcan could have played up there. So we have a lot of pressure now, a lot of control. We got first blood. I got first blood. Freya tried to defend the uh Gilgamesh there i don't don't really know why <laughs> but he did as soon as my fender got soloed shocker we have a boots bluestone solo later against an osiris he's gonna have a rough matchup and that's gonna translate into me having a bad matchup into that soul laner if that soul laner can keep up with me i shouldn't be able to kill him um it'll be really tough for me to deal with i think he started bluestone in pots by the way he just bought boots one because he died so it's not the end of the world just a misplay just a bit of a misplay so i'm handling the red buff here before my speed reason for this i want the buffs to be staggered so on the next respawn i have the i like potential i have the idea in my mind to look for invades to look at their red buff to look for their speed afterwards to look for pressure that's my goal with staggering buffs when i say staggering that means instead of my speed being on the same timer as their speed right like so he already did his speed other jungler's already done his speed he's probably already going to blue 
I now have my speed spawn after his speed. So I can go invade his without losing my timer, without doing anything. The staggering just allows me to control the map without having to worry about being invaded. Notice how I skipped the back camps? That's because I decided to stagger the buffs. If you stagger the buffs, you cannot afford to do both camps and have them potentially invade your blue and rail you. Rail you. you see, he's looking to invade the blue here. So now we're in a good place. Hopefully my fender can go get that. He is two levels behind. I think I could gank at level five when my fat when my fender is level five. I don't think I can gank before then. I'm going to keep pressure up on the Freya. Looking for a root skis. I got it. Nope, didn't get it very close though. Blink not up for 10. When Blink's up, I might look for a kill here in the solo or sorry, in the duo or the mid lane. We have so much control though if Vulcan rotates. Freya's five. Looking to see if these dual lanes on oracles. They are not. I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna snag oracles here, which is gonna poke me out a bit, but it's gonna set me up to get boots. Vulcan heavy pressure up. Since Vulcan's playing up, I'm gonna rotate mid to see if the enemy jungler tries to kill. Enemy jungler engages. I'm here. If he doesn't, we're good. I get a pop up on this Freya. When she leaves the tower line, she dies. I have to hit a knockup though, an instant blink knockup, and she dies. Just has to come off that tower. Here we go. Oh, I fucked up. That's not bad. I misplayed there. That's not bad. Nice kill though. I'm gonna help him. We're good. So that was a big misplay by me. I did, I thought she was coming over to ward and, and drop her ward and back off. She did not. <laughs> she just hard W keyed past me, dude. I'm trolling. Blame it on the ping. Blame it on the pig. They're totally lagging with 50 pig. Jeej. Now we're going to back for full boots. That could have been very, very bad. If she had just ulted and backed off, would have been a waste of a lot of stuff from me and my Vulcan. And would have been a little disappointing. But it's all good. Vulcan made a play, did the damage there. Gilgamesh is really struggling to do anything this match. I mean, he went tank boots. He got a tier one item of an iron mail, it looks like. And I guess this is going to turn into a soul eater. Oh, this server is laggy. I just got like stuck going left. He's built a, him building tanky and me building tanky at the same time makes this weird. <laughs> I don't really know. I know I can still kill him, but I don't know how long it'll take. Because Gilgamesh is fairly squishy and easy to kill, to be honest. Gank left lane. Fenner is all. I want him to go in. Uh, gonna leech a little bit of XP since I'm here. Jungle tax for looking for a gank. He is two levels behind. In a very bad spot. There he is. I don't know that we kill this guy. I'm gonna. This is kind of testing to see how much damage we do. Alright, well, we got his ult. I didn't use anything. Fender, oh, Fender's maybe dead here. I had to zone in to help him out. I don't want to fight this now though. He made this super awkward. And Gilgamesh is here. And Kai, oh my gosh. What in the world? I want to fight, but I don't want to fight to my staff near us here. I blink in three. When I blink, if I can blink out, we win. I'm not gonna be able to get it off. These creeps are gonna stop me. All right, free kill. Take a free trade. We lost blue, but we end up with something out of it. I'm assuming my backs are gone as well. Both both of these back camps should be gone to the Gilgamesh since he dipped. I do have a nice little lead. I'm gonna go into an auto attack uh, ability wise build. I'm not leveling the two here, where usually if I was going, say, shifters, crusher, those items. I was <laughs> going Bumba's Mask. I would probably level the two. Since I know I'm going auto attack build, going stone cutting into attack speed, I am going to level the one. The one is going to just make your auto shred. It should be pretty obvious. Max the three first. It's your biggest damaging ability, no matter what. Like, literally, no matter what. And on top of it being your biggest damaging ability, it's also your one survive like survival ability uh with the knockup and the shield health you get by leveling the three it's really important i i don't think anything competes with it between the other two abilities and the delay on your ultimate's heal makes it also not that much of a survivability thing it's definitely nice it's definitely helpful it's a survivability overall because you get damage mitigation as well but the three is a much stronger level up 
throughout the entire early game it is massive like you gotta realize i have a max out three right now i hit fucking hard as shit or i have a massive health shield i think it'll be easy to kill the chiron sorry i said chiron chernabog i've been saying the wrong god names for no reason the chernabog should die like extremely fucking easily he's gonna dash the wall gotta look for the taunts here He missed the eat. Blocking autos for the boy. Okay, now I'm dead. Should have never blocked those autos. I might be able to live if he doesn't have blink. He jumped over the wall. And Serb is here. I might be able to kill Serb instead. Might die for this unless he saves me. Don't kick him into me. He missed the kick. Help me. Oh no. Did he deform? Yeah, my Fafnir deformed. Unfortunate. Falcon back. Fafnir deformed. Not much could be done there. A little bit of a. I wouldn't say a misplay tanking the tower like that. I think I trusted a little too much in the Heimdall. Young Swartzy. Not coming through in the clutch, but it's okay. It's okay. We got the uh, turtle bug eventually. He didn't get any farm during that time either, so he's not doing much. He hasn't started stacking yet. Well, my Heimdall has. I'm doll should be all right technically I think their giggle mesh now. Oh, their giggle mesh did build into this The giggle mesh rushed a mystical male in the jungle. What the hell? He's got two kills, but he doesn't do anything in these team fights like he really doesn't The character has nice base damage And i'm not faulty him for doing oh, their soul enters invading now rough uh, I'm not faulty him for going the build but it is not the move like it really isn't Sorry I hope he has a leap God damn I keep missing my oh shit I keep missing my abilities right now and I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me I'm throwing them short nice stun nice Oh no dude this is a good leap Nice dude my Vulcan popping right now Saving my dash to go on this guy He's nice peel for himself there this guy might get away though uh, I'm keeping him in combat by his mystical mail taking on me and I have a root soon Blocking him notice the block Beautiful play and we get him. We don't even care if we get roofed here. We shouldn't die We're chilling nice job by uh, my boys for showing up in case I needed their support But that guy got outplayed really hard <laughs> Really really hard outplay Off the roots whenever people are hugging the wall you can always pinch them by leaving just enough space so it looks like they get through what the hell but in your mind make sure you uh are calculating how big their body is because oddly enough the fatter characters don't squeeze through some shit which is unfortunate high res is a little size sizes i just i guess so we're gonna back here notice how i started building into fucking uh bow already i don't have enough for the item i'm gonna go into my oboe i'm rushing oboe you have a lot of power you got a lot of pen i want a lot of attack to to offset it right now i also like it for the grouped up fighting that ends up happening a lot of time you'll get double taunts you'll get double knockups and that oboe damage is big early in the game when you have some power to go along with it which you do so knocking out the oboe that's picked up we now can get beads hopefully we'll stop missing our our abilities like idiots because uh i've missed so many roots that i shouldn't have missed they gonna do some, some wrist stretches or something I, I don't know i really don't know at this point i'm missing stuff i should never miss i over blinked the freya i missed the free room but dude's getting ganked there's no way i'm ever getting there it, this this is why like people <laughs> People ask me about Fenrir in my tier list and I'm like Fenrir is trash. It's a terrible god. I don't care who plays it. It doesn't matter. Like Sam for soccer played it in the SPL the other day. They're the best team. The best jungler on the best team played a god that isn't good and made it work. Crazy. It is not something that should be in, in your matches. It's not something you should be focused on playing because you're going to get stomped like this. It's a the decisions you make on the god are massive. It's not necessarily a high skill. In terms of landing abilities it's a high skill in terms of if you engage wrong one time you usually leap wrong one time you're probably dead bridge out of the fight that's it this is what it is we get some deep wards out looks like my team's looking to aggress in the mid lane i can definitely go in here gonna knock him up try not to let him get his ult off which we stop perfect easy kill easy clap freya ulted so she's ever out of position i'm gonna go for her gilgamesh has now gone into stone cutting 
so he's actually got a nice little fucking lead because of his passive giving him an item he wanted in a way i mean i don't know if he wanted the mystical mail but he built into it anyway which is awkward but also uh you know it's good mess you do what you want invading his back camps i'm really not worried about him killing me right now i'm just not stressed over him i can clear so fast that i can stay ahead of him and i just have nothing to worry about freya's out of position here gonna look for her i think they know i'm coming she might play up here Gilgamesh is also here this is my root again i'm gonna try to get uh, some space here got a beads and get out of his ult right away because i know freya's around my boys are always good this fast is a beast this fast fafnir is a legend with his positioning Ooh, this could be good damn dude oh shit nice I got those sir bolted. I'm gonna run away this way because they're grouped. And it looks like the turtle bog is also looking for me. Got him to miss his root. We're just juking and jiving right now. He misses more abilities than I do. Gonna start my back. I think he's gonna look for me still. He let me go. This man truly just gave up. Their team has such good rotation potential with the turtle bog. There's our Heimdall can semi map. Okay, he doesn't know what he's building. <laughs> His build is horrid, dude. I was gonna say he could semi rotate still, and it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But he's not building correctly. Yes. Um, he's not building correctly, so I'm gonna assume he doesn't know how to rotate. Looks like our blue's gone. We can cake this guy. We we can definitely kill this guy now. I think. Oh, he doesn't know we're here. He doesn't know we're here. Please hit your stun. Please hit your stun. Okay, the stun hitting your stun, but you know it is what it is. Pick him up. Pick him up. Okay. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> I taunted so he could catch up to him and take him farther back. So we'd have more time to kill him. And he missed his he didn't even try to bite him when I taunted. And then oh, okay, I don't even know. I don't even know these days and I have to split with him. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I get solo gold. So notice this build. I talked about you're going for the aggression build, the damage fighting build, whatever you want to call it. This build when you get an, a lifesteal item, we'll be able to solo the gold fury. Even without the lifesteal item, you can solo the gold fury. You gotta make sure you cover oracles and that stuff. But Enemy missing right. people always ask me like, what do I do? My team won't do an objective, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay, he just got knocked up to death. Nice job, dude. He just got shredded. I'm gonna look for this turn bog. I'm gonna put all my pressure on this side of the map. If you're having trouble with like people rotating, like you don't know what to do because people are rotating, the what you do is you go to the lane for the people that are rotating you might die i'm probably dead here never mind he let me live never mind missing left my team is really struggling with the rotations my mid my mid laner and my fafnir are beasts the other two are really struggling this is gonna be a three-man stun because they're not breaking the chains good all from fafnir Come on, Heimdall. You got that life steal, baby. Nice, nice, nice. Good port, too. Real, wow. Okay. You know, I talked a little bit of shit. That wasn't the worst thing in the world. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. All right. They're building tanky. Checking over builds. They're really tanky. I was going to go right into Kins, but I'm going to go into Exe. I'm going to be stuck with this, this Gilgamesh sitting on me with this tanky build. Really tanky. Oh, he's got magical defense there. He's still really tanky. Osiris is gonna sit on me. He's gonna be fairly tanky. Looks like he's building a stone cutting, which is we not really the item you would expect. I will be able to kill them as soon as well now with the execution. I'll be able to kill them. Once I have kins, I'll, I'll trade everybody. Everyone in the game. We have a demonic grip. Freya. The builds in this match are sloppy. The builds in this match are not what you want to see <laughs> if you're here trying to trying to win a game. And this man splitting instead of doing his wave is actually getting a little old. He has a huge wave. I might go over that wave to be honest. Yeah, my dude wants to do fire. I'll do fire. There's a bunch of archers on that wave. I love how there's Vulcan playing though. Uh, I don't know about that. Overkill. Overkill. I know we have we have no ward, so it's not a bad thing that he did that. Like guaranteed the secure, but it's not the smartest thing in the world. Gonna play the wall here, looking for this. Try to get out of his ult. He leaped already. I'm gonna. Oh, I got kicked. I think his roots still hit me too. Don't want to blink. He's got. You got. You got the. Yes. The mystical males keeping him in combat. 
Nice, dude. He killed the Chernabog. What, dude? Perfect timing. Make sure you're always looking for the next objective. Always, always, always looking for the next objective. Second someone dies, can you do something? What can you do? Two people die? All right, bigger objective. Like, you think bigger. You don't think baby bitch status. Uh, you, you might go from like, oh, we get a tier one tower, one person dead to, oh, three people are dead. Fire giant, gold fury, portal demon. Tier two towers, push a bunch of towers. Create pressure, get your wards out, look for their buffs, those kind of things. You should always try to at least entertain the idea of um, doing an objective when someone dies or you gain pressure somewhere. I'm checking the speed buff. He's pulling creeps to me, which is annoying. Shut up. But I really want to take that dude's speed buff on cooldown. Uh, we're solid. Uh, this is awkward. Now they know where I am. I'm going to pop a health pot in case the Osiris runs into me. I don't have my alt. I do have beads. I don't have blink. Help right lane. My, <laughs> my Fenrir is just having a bad game. No, don't do this. Go full hybrid defense. You can't afford to go damage in solo lane like this. Especially when you're behind. That's the last thing you want to do. Anti honestly isn't even that important in this match. It's kind of crazy. I just got a really big beads off there. I'm gonna try to hold on to my ult. Oh, I'm walking into the, the thorns. I might be able to trade him. Heal, heal, heal. Nice. No, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. This is crazy. They really are focused on me. And you're just dipped on us, dude. He's just not doing anything. Nice kill. That's a good counter kill. Why is my Fafnir doing more? Oh, he's gonna gem of ISO. I don't know if you guys saw that before me, but damn, I did not notice that notice i was almost able to turn on the osiris with the build just pay attention to the items they have you, you can kind of know how you'll trade out and trade with them having xd having stone cutting there the really defense is not big a deal Ooh, kill he got his three he hit an ability nice armadite proud of you for finally coming through our team is crazy squishy with the wonkiest builds you can't tell me you've seen this double stacking into deathbringer i'm fine with vulcan's build this he slaps right now I'm honestly fine with Fafnir. He went for the supporty, helpy gauntlet Thebes, and he's going aggressive. He knows he's able to damage. It doesn't seem like they're really prioritizing him. So I'm fine with his build too. He's going like a selfish tanky item, which is fine with the way he, he's playing the game. This build and this build hurt my soul. Hurt my soul, boys. So I'm building into either or either item here. I can go into an Aussie or go into Kins. Because I'm stuck killing the front line, I feel like. They're just running at me so heavy. I'm going to go to the Kins for the potential of just killing them instead of getting to the back line. If it were another game, if I had more front line, if I had better players, better fat Fenrir, better front line on my team. Defend the fire giant. Defend the fire giant. Defend the Are they running giant. right to me? They are all running right to me. Hello? <laughs> what the heck? All right, I'm sketched out, dude. Breaking me out, man. Does he know? I don't think he, I don't think he knows. I really don't don't think they actually knew I was there. I think they were just looking for farm. Defend the fire giant. I have kins now. I'm gonna go kins. Anyway, if I were diving the back line in this match, kins would still be hyper viable. But Aussie would be nice for the trade. The the lifesteal, the uh the pumping out some damage, the little bit more pen. Like Aussie does have a little bit of pen on it. It's a, it's a really, really good item that people just don't look at these stats. Like when you're four stacking stats that high, that's crazy. I don't know why people don't really give that any attention. They're heavy grouped in mid. We don't have any wards. I want to do fire really badly. I'm going to save my counter. Oh, they're on this. I'm going to save my counter for the actual fire giant. But we should have wards everywhere. Got their counter. I would love to. Wait, they hoard it again. Take all your gold. Thanks for paying for my counter ward. Much appreciated, pals. Group up, group up, group up. Just pumped out a ton of damage. Notice how I'm not full committing. I poked him. My health is going to stay full. His health is going to stay low. We get another good poke or we get a good engagement now. We have a massive advantage. Oh, shit. They're looking for me, so I'm going to back off. Notice how I'm up. I'm way ahead of my team and I notice it. Yeah, it's great. He uses ability. But I don't want to be stuck out of position. I do want to look for an engagement now. Trying to get them to attack. Who cares who's behind us? Just attack, man. 
They want me to engage, which honestly I'm fine with right here. This is rough. There's the ultimate. There's a full heal. I'm I'm okay. I'm looking for a reset. I'm gonna help the boys in the back. Heimdall managed to get a kill. I'm looking for this guy because we know he has no kick. We know he has really nothing. That's about all he has. Big pickup. And this might knock up. Unfortunate. Should still be a kill though. Oh, I don't want to be. No, 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 no. I'm gonna trade my life for a kill, hopefully. Please. Why? Why are we diving? We're just not. We're having our thing way too late. Way too late into this game, dude. I pray this guy manages to get an ult. Or manages to get a kill. Sorry, not an ult. He's dead. All right. If you're in this situation, this happens to you. It is not your fault. There is no world where your fight's halfway over. There's already been a kill. Everyone just used their leaps to get out, and your support hasn't ulted yet. He should have ulted and been getting, engaging already. On top of that, your solo laner should have been diving the tower and tanking it because it should be a tanky solo laner. My solo laner is building like he's a potato ass, stacking magical defense when most of their damage, as you can see, is physical. Uh, another potato ass. So if your team is playing like this, try to take a note of it. Next fight, I will not dive. I will not commit. I will take another reset because I had already reset like what twice in that team fight. I will reset one more time. We're just take a step back, analyze what's happening, wait for my abilities to come back up and go back in. And I will go in once my team is tanking that fucking tower because I really just got hung out to dry because my Fender has no clue what's my game is. He saw Fender played yesterday and he's trying to make the most of it. I get it. You want to try stuff? It's fine. I just uh, need you to W key a little bit more when you're a tanky boy. When you're a tanky boy, you really shouldn't be scared of anyone. You should push your boundaries and play kind of dumb because you shouldn't die. But you're also not building like you don't build like a tanky boy. You can't play dumb. Playing dumb is easier. Playing W key stupid is it's just such an easy meta that the solo lane is in and has been in for a long time where you build a little tanky. You do enough damage because you have your leveling because you have XP. Because you've got the items on everybody. He's just running people. Attack fire nice job by uh, Heim though. I'm playing good. He got like now in these team fights, his build sucks dick, but he's playing good. He manages to pull a kill early in that fight. And then he's just looking for objectives, which is beautiful. My counter ward's gone, but that should mean they actually, they might've just counter warded. It might've just been late. Might've just been late. My beads are up soon. We got vision on the Gilgamesh. If he backs, I'm looking for a fight. Oh, he didn't back. Rough. <gasps> oh shit Gank left lane. this is really good i'm gonna save my root for when he leaps away i'm trying to get him to leap away got him okay i didn't get him i must have thrown it a little to the side unfortunate nice man is farming Eason. beautiful 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 i don't want to stop his back it's all i wanted to do i want to go in here Oh, I got hit by the Osiris. Shouldn't get kills here. Fenrir, you did it, buddy. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Is that a triple? Oh, no, double. I got kills stolen. And a surrender. A lot of people just hate. Did you lose one big fight finally and they just quit? In reality, we probably would have ended because Heimdall's already got up mid and the dude got soloed for the third time in a row. But let's see how it plays out. Maybe we make a wrong call. We, we mess up. Maybe we go do fire and you manage to defend. So there's some Erlang Shen, a, a damage Erlang Shen. I would have rounded out the build by selling boots for Aussie, more than likely. Give me some pen, give me some sustain. They like said I'd be able to solo objectives at that point. I could solo objectives earlier. Notice my damage really high. Vulcan played like a beast. Soul laner, like I said, played like a potato ass. And my support played good, but then didn't ward. So pretty much me and mid carry that game. Proud of you, Scatineer. You see this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the play by play and the, the just me talking it out about what's happening what i'm doing what i'm thinking about the things that i'm processing is helping you all remember likes are huge comments if you have any you know questions concerns you want to tell me something you got something funny to pull out conversation if you want to tell me to play a role a god a build something tell me in the comments below please and make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the video later today later tomorrow and the next day